Hi everybody. Um, as uh, many of you know who read this blog regularly, I am a fairly uh, low maintenance uh, person when it comes to um, getting ready in the morning or getting ready to go out somewhere. Uh, I am overtired all the time. So I look for really simple routines. So today I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of the products that I use um, or that I'm trying out uh, to get ready and um, show you sort of some of my simple tips um, for uh, low maintenance uh, getting ready. So first of all I started um, with a shower and uh, I've been using these milkshake products. Um, the particular kind that I'm using is a color care shampoo and conditioner. Um, what I love so far about mil milkshake is uh, it smells amazing. It's, it's like being in a bakery surrounded by cupcakes. Uh, so it's a special little treat for your nose when you're in the shower. Um, so I really love that. But most of all, I love how my hair feels uh, once it's dry. Um, so I started with those two, the shampoo and conditioner. Um, next, uh, what I'm going to do, and I don't do, I'll admit I don't do this all the time, um, but when I have the time, I use this uh, Pantene Ultimate BB Cream. Uh, it's really great uh, because it does a number of different things. It's uh, supposed to repair your hair, it's uh, uh, moisturizing, it helps control your frizz because I have a lot of frizz, uh, and it's a heat protectant. Uh, so I'm going to put some of that in my hair right now. Uh, I just use uh, one pump and uh, just put it in my hands and then run that through my hair. Uh, it's pretty quick. So I think that's all in there. Great. So now that that's all in there, I'm going to blow dry my hair. I usually blow dry my hair in two sections. So I uh, separate the top part of my hair and uh, I start underneath and <laughs> um, what I use before I blow dry or before I uh, straight, straighten my hair is uh, this Moroccan oil heat styling protection. Uh, it protects your hair from uh, high heat so I spray that on my hair and then I get started uh, with blow drying my hair. So I'm not going to bore you with that part of the video. Uh, but I'll pick back up once my hair is right. dry. So my hair is all dry now and uh, really manageable. I'm running my fingers through it. It's really soft uh, and as you can see no frizz. Um, so uh, I really like the products that I've been using. It works for me. Um, it only took me say four minutes, five minutes to do all of that. Um, now, of course, your time may vary depending on how thick your hair is, how long it takes to dry, but um, that was for me. Anyway, uh, so next I'm going to um, go into my makeup routine, I guess. It's really rare that I wear makeup much beyond, say, a mascara. Um, but in the event that I'm going out somewhere um, where I'm going to be around a lot of people, uh, sometimes I do go uh, with a little bit more than the basics. So uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about um, the kinds of products I use uh, for my makeup. So I usually start um, with a, some kind of moisturizer as a base. Um, so for me, that's uh, L'Oreal Paris's, um, this is Ultra Even lotion, which is part of their Hydration Total 5. Um, I had previously tried the whole skincare routine and um, it made my skin feel really great, but I'm always in a rush, so it's really hard for me um, to keep up with the whole routine. But this moisturizer, I really love. Um, so I try to wear it um, a little more often. So um, it just takes a little, little tiny bit um, to cover your whole face. Uh, so I'm going to put that on now. some moisturizer on. Um, I do usually um, put on a face primer um, which helps my makeup last longer. So in this case I'm using e.l.f. Um, 
I'm using ELF <laughs> uh, hydrating face um, primer. Um, my skin is really, really dry, uh, so some people might use this and not bother with the moisturizer. Um, but for me, because my skin is so dry, I really do need a moisturizer underneath, and then I put the primer on top. So again, smooth it in. Um, for <laughs> Are a lot of people that would use like a sponge to put that primer on too. Um, so uh, that's probably the better way to do it. Um, but I just uh, usually use my fingers. <laughs> so next one I'm going to use, and as you can see, I've never actually used this kind before. Um, but typically I would put on some kind of BB cream or a tinted moisturizer or maybe even a foundation. Uh, but today I'm going to try this Super CC uh, Cream by Physicians Formula. And we're gonna see how that works for me. Um, it also actually also comes with a um, eye cream. Uh, so I'm gonna try putting that on too. Um, on occasion, I do use um, a uh, concealer. Uh, this is CoverGirl's um, concealer stick. Uh, I like it because you can just sort of dab where you want to uh, conceal something and then just dab um, to, uh, to blend it in. I'm not going to use that today, um, but I just thought I would mention it. I do like that product, but uh, we're going to start uh, or we're going to try this uh, CC cream. I'm not going to uh, subject you to making you <laughs> watch me put it on, uh, but um, I am going to use it and I'll let you see what my face looks like right now in this poor lighting and then we'll see how it looks uh, once I have the cream on, or the CC cream, yeah, alright. Alright, so um, I'm going to start with this Super CC um, eye cream um, and as I say I've never used this before um, so this is my first time, I just actually took it out of the box. So it recommends putting this on with your bare fingers um, and the little applicator tip. So um, one of the things it says to do is to make sure you shake it really well and then um, you have to squeeze it a little bit to get some at the top. And then what you're going to do is put the applicator right underneath your eye and squirt a little bit there. under my eyes are going away which is awesome um, it's great so actually if I go a little let's see let's take this over here so if I show you here um, as I'm starting to blend it you can see that the color under my eyes starting to go away whereas here where I haven't blended it you can see a little bit of the dark is still there so awesome all right so actually while I blend I'm gonna put this camera down and then we'll pick back up All right, after so this. I have the eye cream on. I, I think I might have put a little bit too much on. Um, so I just blended it um, sort of down into my cheeks and everything. Uh, so next we're going to use the all over cream. Again, it recommends using your fingertips. Um, I know sometimes people like to use um, uh, foundation brushes or um, different sponges. Uh, but I'm just going to do what the box says. Uh, because um, it's easier for me. And we're gonna put this on, see how it goes. So it's really, uh, really smooth to put on. Uh, what I love is uh, I am getting some coverage, but it's also not, uh, not picking up too much in the way of uh, dry, dead skin, which is a problem I have sometimes with foundation. Um, it just looks flaky. Look at this. Blending really well, so it's I would call it like a light coverage. I think uh, it's not masking, say, all of my skin imperfections, but um, it's uh, it's doing the trick. It is sort of smoothing out my complexion. All right, great. So let's just see. 
again, not great lighting in my bathroom, but uh, I think you get the, get the picture. So that's the uh, foundation. So next, well, excuse my hand, um, we're going to uh, look at eye makeup um, because that's usually my, uh, one of my next steps. Um, so today I'm going to use yet another product I haven't used before. Um, this is a, the Maybelline Color Show Coal Liner uh, for eyes, eye pencil, um, and uh, I tend to stick pretty basic with my color, so this is a black eyeliner. Again, eyeliner is not something I use very often, um, just sort of if I'm going to a special occasion, um, but I'm going to put this on my eyes right now, I don't have any on, and I'll show you what it looks like. Right, so the eyeliner is probably the longest part of my routine because I'm not very good at it. I haven't been wearing eyeliner very long, like seriously only a couple months I think. And I'm still really timid when I'm putting it on myself so my eyes flutter a lot. So that took me a while, um, but again it's on there. Uh, I really like that pencil because it's uh, really precise and actually where it's a new pencil it's really sharp so it was easy to put on. I don't like putting it on heavy. Um, so this is just a really subtle uh, eyeliner. So then next um, I put on mascara and what I'm wearing today is Wet n Wild uh, Max Volume Mascara. Um, I uh, usually don't do volume ones um, or lengthening uh, mascaras because my eyelashes are super long anyway. So if I'm going to be wearing sunglasses, they hit my sunglasses, I don't like it. Um, but uh, I do like this one. The brush is really nice and it spreads out your uh, lashes nicely. So that's what I like about this particular uh, mascara. As you can tell by the various brand names that I'm using, I'm not particularly stuck on one particular uh, brand name when it comes to my makeup. So I'm going to put this mascara on now with uh, both eyeliner and mascara. I tend to only put it on the top, nothing on the bottom. Uh, some people like putting eyeliner on the bottom to give your eyes more definition. This is just my personal preference. So there's my eyes. Again, not very good lighting for a makeup thing, but I'm not used to doing any sort of makeup tutorial. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, which people I will probably say I'm doing this in the wrong order, which I very much probably am because I don't know much about makeup, is I'm going to put on um, some eyeshadow. Um, uh, the uh, eyeshadow that I'm going to put on is an, uh, an Avon eyeshadow. It's marbleized baked eyeshadow um, and it's the color rose gold. So uh, I really like this one. It's sort of a, a pinky purple. It's um, the kind of color that you could wear at night but also say to work during the day. So Keep it just to my lid. Some people might put sort of a highlighter color uh, up towards their brows. I usually just stick to the lid um, because that's me. And that's my eyes. Uh, next, I'm going to put on a blush. This will be my last piece of makeup because um, I don't usually wear anything on my lips beyond a lip balm. Um, but uh, this is a, a blush stick um, that I use. It's called Be Blushed um, Cheap Color. This is again by Avon. And um, I like this stuff. I've seen people use it for lipstick too, um, but I just stick to my cheeks. So I usually put one, two, three, going from like mid cheek up. One, two, three. And then again, use my fingertips to blend. One thing if you are going to use this particular product, um, I find it goes on uh, and because maybe I'm using my fingers, it makes my cheeks look super pink or super red initially. Um, and the first couple times that I used it, I thought, oh my gosh, I didn't want it to look like this. But it does tone down a little bit uh, after a few minutes. So uh, there we go. So that's my hair and makeup routine. Um, it's taken me, looking at the clock, about 20 minutes to do all of this. Uh, again, this is sort of like my going out look. 
it's not particularly glam, but um, because I, I typically don't spend a lot of time on getting ready, um, this is uh, my glammed up uh, makeup and hair routine. Uh, in a normal workday circumstance, I would typically only put on my mascara, um, maybe a BB cream, but even that, usually not, just a moisturizer and lip balm. Um, so anyway, I hope this has been uh, helpful or um, at least interesting. And if you have any questions about my experience with any of these products, um, certainly feel free to leave your questions in the comments. Thank you very much.